Michael Ferrara from Club D Sport, and uh, joining me today, I have a very special guest. Lake Speed Jr. <laughs> is here. The man probably knows more about engine oil lubricants and piston rings than anybody ever wanted to know. Yeah, I think people would say that. I mean, yeah, it, more than anyone wants to know. <laughs> but today, we are going to educate you guys out there to let you know a little bit about the history of piston rings and what to look out if you're in the market to buy some you know, high performance pistons, you wanna make sure you get the right set of piston rings. Mm -hmm. What should they be looking for out there? What are some of the technologies that are out there nowadays that uh, people should be aware of? Thanks, Mike. You know, one of the things about piston rings is it's something that people just kind of it's so along for the ride with the piston, right? Because you get the piston, oh, what rings do I need? Well, whatever fits the piston. <laughs> whatever well, came in the box, right? Right, if, came, if the piston came with rings, that's even beneficial, right? <laughs> right. I don't even need rings, I already have them. But if, I, if I'm rebuilding an engine, I already have pistons and I need to put new rings in it, well, mm. you're gonna go with whatever size rings that came with the pistons. And you know, that, that's all fine, well, and good, but there are some limitations. Over time, if you think about what, say, you know, Honda and Yamaha, Kawasaki have done mm -hmm. with motorcycle engines. I mean, these guys are turning 13, 14,000 RPM mm. all the time. Because of the mass in a piston ring, those guys a long time ago went to thin rings, to metric rings that are, you know, one millimeter or less. Mm -hmm. Well, so today's state of the art and, you know, Formula One, NASCAR, mm -hmm. IndyCar, they run sub one millimeter rings mm -hmm. for mm -hmm. a reason, not just because of mass, but also that reduction in friction. If you think about rubbing your hands together, mm -hmm. you do this for a little bit, you'll start building some heat. Right, right. Well, there's not only that friction from building heat, but if I go to a just two fingers together, it takes it's less friction, mm -hmm. less heat. So we know that heat can be the enemy of your engine, right? Right. You're trying to get that heat out of the system so you don't overheat pistons and things like that. Mm -hmm. If I can reduce that friction, not only do I gain power, but also gain control. So something to think about when you're considering pistons is that ring package that comes along with the piston because mm -hmm. you may not need a bigger radiator, you might just need a thinner piston ring. Yeah, that's one of the big things, you know, it's with piston rings nowadays, it seems like you go thin to win. I mean, the thinner, the I better. And part of it too is back in the olden days, you needed to have this massive piston ring because the materials were crap compared that's to That's a great, <laughs> great point. Because if you say go just right here, say, the second ring is traditionally a ductile iron ring, which mm -hmm. in the old, old days you had cast iron. Mm -hmm. Wrought iron fences are cast iron. <laughs> right, you're right? right. And think about it, they're always broken. Why? <laughs> because cast iron's brittle. Right. It's still softer than steel, but it's still a little more brittle. Right? Mm -hmm. This is way easier to break putting it on than one of these. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, this is a stainless steel ring. So when you go to that better material. Mm -hmm. Stainless has got more elasticity. It can bend without breaking. It can also handle more temperature. And then we go from say these old school type of rings, which maybe were maybe molly coated mm -hmm, mm -hmm. or chromed, right? With a traditional cast ring. Now you've got a PVD coating. So it's basically aerospace type coatings, mm -hmm. which are lower friction, thin film, this ring can literally outlast an order of three or four magnitudes of what this can. Gotcha. Just because the material technology is better. And that's really the game changer in not only just out, out racing, but also what OEMs are doing is mm -hmm. you're moving away from those older materials, which were cheaper. They didn't last as long. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now we're getting into better materials, better coatings. and just like you coat wrist pins and you coat valves mm -hmm. to make better performance and better longevity, we're doing the same thing with fishman technology.